What's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to incorporate some of our new arrivals as well as tap into something that works really well for the summer. I included these shell pearl chips with this new butterfly charm. I paired this look with these butterfly rings. Let's get right into how to create this piece. This piece is gonna need two separate layers to attach the butterfly in the middle and then a clasp in the back. So we're gonna begin by adding the first layer on the string. Once it's on, we're gonna begin to attach the butterfly charm to it. So now you can begin by adding all the shell beads onto the string. Once all the shell pearls are strung on, attach two crimp beads onto the wire. Then attach your crimp cover. Then attach the wire onto the loop of the butterfly charm. And slide the wire back into the spacer bead that's gonna be acting as a crimp cover. And then into the two crimp beads that you added previously. Since the crimp beads are small enough, they do slide beneath the spacer. So what you want to do now is go ahead and slide the two crimp beads near the butterfly. Using your crimper tool, go ahead and press down onto the crimp bead with the bottom section of the crimper tool that looks like a heart. You want to do this individually. So first kind of pull up the second crimp bead and then work with the first one by pressing down and creating that little heart shape. Then turn the crimp bead perpendicular and put the crimp bead into the top section of the rounded crimper tool. Press down and create a fold over effect onto the crimp bead. So that's what it will look like. Push the other crimp bead down close to the other crimp bead and do the same thing by pressing down the bottom section first, then turning it perpendicular and pressing down again to create that fold over effect. Once you have the crimp beads on, you can do a little test, make sure that it's tight enough. Then you can use your cutter tool to go back and cut the shorter piece of the wire off. Make sure it's not the long one and just the short one so you can get rid of that excess wire. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and slide all of the beads down towards the butterfly. And this is the look that you will achieve once you do that. Next, we're gonna go ahead and close off this side of the wire using the same crimp bead, but instead we'll be using this crimp cover. Go ahead and cut the wire and you want to give yourself about this much space on the wire to work with so you can easily work with it. If you cut it too short and you're trying to close it off, you won't be able to comfortably use the wire. So you want a good amount of wire to work with. Next, we're gonna attach the crimp cover onto the wire first, going on the wire from the bottom hole of the crimp cover and slide it down to where it meets the beads. Then attach two crimp beads to the wire. Slide it down all the way to where it meets the beads. Slide the wire back into the crimp beads, creating a knot around it. I like to use my plier to push down the crimp beads to where it meets the crimp cover. And before I close it off, I'll check and make sure that the beads are not too tight on the wire because if it's not flexible and there's tension, that could cause this to break. So you always wanna make sure that when you're using beading wire and you're crimping it off, there's fluidity within the wire. So if you're holding down the crimp beads here, all you need to do next is pull the string. That way the crimp beads will not move and they'll stay close to the crimp cover down here. And pull that all the way to create a little knot around it. Next, what you wanna do is pull the wire outside of the crimp cover from the side and go ahead and use the crimper tool to crimp the bead the same way that we did with the other side. Using the bottom part of the crimper tool, turning it perpendicular and creating that fold over effect on both of the crimp beads. This part is a little more tricky because you do need to take the crimp beads outside of the crimp cover in order to crimp down. Once 
Once both of the crimps are crimped on, go ahead and do a little tester, make sure that it's fully secure on there. Then you can go ahead and cut the excess wire off. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and shut the crimp cover over on top of the two crimp beads. And this is what it will look like. Next, using your set of pliers, grab a jump ring, open it up with your set of pliers and attach it to the loop of the crimp cover. Then attach it to the bottom loop of the clasp. And using your set of pliers, you kind of want to push your hands together as you close the ring. And here a little click and pass the ring and come back to where they meet. And that will make sure that your jump ring is fully closed and secured off. Just like that, you'll have your first side of the butterfly necklace. For the opposite side, go ahead and grab your string and put all the beads onto the string while it's still attached to the wire. Once all the shell beads are on the wire, grab your spacer bead and slide that onto the wire. Then grab your two crimp beads and slide that onto the wire as well. Then grab the opposite side of the loop that's on the butterfly charm and string it through. Then slide the wire back into the two crimp beads. And into the spacer bead as well. But for now, we want to keep the spacer bead to the back so that we can slide the two crimp beads down to the butterfly and use our crimper tool to crimp down the two crimp beads the same way as we did in the first section using the bottom of the crimper tool first. to create a bended effect, like a little heart, then turn it perpendicular inside of the top part of the crimper tool and press down to create that fold over effect for both crimp beads. It should look like this. Cut the excess wire off, slide the beads all the way down to where it meets the butterfly then cut off a good amount of the wire so we can close off the opposite side of the necklace. Slide the wire from the bottom of the crimp cover first, then attach two crimp beads. Slide it all the way down. Take the tip of the wire and slide it back into the two crimp beads. And use your plier to push the two crimp beads all the way down make sure that the wire is not stiff then pull the wire all the way to seal it off and create a loop around the two crimp beads using your crimp tool press down on both crimp beads to create that little heart effect on the bottom section of the crimper tool then turn it perpendicular and press down to create a heart shape for both crimps Cut the excess wire off and use your plier to close up the crimper. And lastly, using your set of pliers, open up the jump ring. Attach it to the loop of the crimp cover. Push your hands close together, pass the ring, and come back to where they meet. And that's it. The butterfly charm is available in both gold and silver color plated. And I also paired this look with these two gorgeous new butterfly rings that are available both in 18 karat gold plated and also in the silver color plated option as well. Here's what the necklace looks like on and super close up. I'll be including all the pieces that I used to create this necklace down below in the description so you can just click the link and it will redirect you to our website for you to be able to add to your cart and shop and create this look for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye!